Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today I'm excited to do a review of this new little photo printer by Lian. This actually came to me at a great time because in my planner I have been wanting to print out some pictures that are a little bit smaller than what my HP Sprocket prints out. You can get an HP Sprocket that prints this exact same size, but mine is not that size. So this is what the little photo printer looks like, and it slides open for you to put your photo paper inside. It's a zinc printer. That means it works without ink. So all you have to do is use the zinc photo paper that is compatible with the Lien photo printer. It looks a whole lot like the HP Sprocket photo paper. So um, it comes in a very similar packaging. My HP Sprocket is called a Select and it prints larger sizes than this. This size is two inch by three inch. And I actually am really excited about this because I held up this size to those 12 boxes at the beginning of my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I'll bring that out in just a second and show you what I'm talking about. And this is just the right size for that. And I have a very special project that I'm going to be working on, on that 12 box spread. So it slides open like this. It says Lien here. It's white. It comes with a charging cable. And mine came with 50 sheets of photo paper. So I assume that they all come with 50 sheets of photo paper. So it would be five little packs like this and a little mini instruction manual. And to be honest, all I did was download the Lian app, and then I connected my phone via Bluetooth to this photo printer and just printed um, from the app. I didn't really read the instructions. And since I already have an HP Sprocket, I pretty much know how these things work. They come with a sort of a calibration card or a refresher card. This is what they call a smart sheet. So what you do is, since there's no ink, every now and then you will want to run this through the printer to kind of reset it and refresh it so it prints the best photos. So let's go ahead and print some photos and see how well the Lien photo printer does. And the project that we're gonna work on to test this printer is this 12 box spread in my Erin Condren Life Planner. And these boxes don't come decorated like this. I just decided when I first got this planner that I would use this for one monthly picture of my first grandchild. So right now we are in January and I am going to print one, two, three, four, five, six photos. And you can see by the size of this sort of refresher sheet that it's the perfect size for that. So hopefully these pictures will come out well and I can bring this up to the current month with pictures of our grandson. Let's turn the printer on. You just push and hold until the light comes on. And I wanna show you how you would put this refresher sheet through. You will put your smart sheet down with the little lines down. But then when you take your stack of photo paper, you wanna put it glossy side up so that the backing is back here. And then close it until it clicks. And I've got mine plugged in because it's new and I need to charge it. And that little blue calibration sheet is just going to automatically come out once the printer detects that it's in there at the bottom of the stack of photo paper. Now inside the app, you'll select the photo that you want to print, and then down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a check mark. So you just tap that check mark, and it will take you to the next screen where you will go up to the top and select print. Keep that app open and you'll hear the printer start up and your photo will come out. It will just take a few seconds. And like I said before, there's no drying needed because there's no ink. This is some sort of zinc magic that makes your picture appear on this sticker photo paper. And here is how the first photo came out. I'm pleased with this. I think it looks nice. 
Um, it's a little bit different look than you would get if you printed with ink, but it's still very nice and functional for the purpose that you might want a sticker photo for. So let's try this out in my little project in my life planner. You just peel the backing off and then it is a photo sticker. And so what I wanna do since I've put this July sticker down and it sort of hangs down beyond where the photo is going to be, I'm going to just kind of scoop this up with a little craft spatula, put the picture right up to that line and then put the sticker back down on top. There we go. Okay, so now let's do when baby was one month old. So all I have to do is go back into the Lien app and select the photo that I want, go up to the top of the screen and click print, and then watch the photo come out. I think that one turned out really well too. And I was able to crop the picture, rotate the orientation so that it would fit this little spot the way I want it to. And then we're just gonna do the same thing with the sticker here and unpeel the edge and tuck that picture right up to the line and then put the month sticker back down. I'm loving this. And the way I've got mine lined up, I instead of going down or one, two, three, four, I'm going all the way across. So let's put the next month right here. Exact same procedure. I just selected the photo from within the Lien app and you can do any adjustments you want to and then go up to the top of the screen and click print. And when that happens, your printer will wake up and you will hear the photo start to come out. This September sticker just came off when I was peeling up the letters that hung over, so I'll just put it back on. Wow, this is a fun project. And I have to admit that this printer is really making it easy. Oh, this is so great. So we can just see him growing. This is great, let's do October. Same process, just peel off the backing. And this is coming together really quickly. All right, oh my goodness, just to see these lined up beside each other gives me a whole different perspective than scrolling through, you know, months of pictures with my phone, just seeing one right beside the next to see how he changed each month is really fun. So I tried to um, print two photos at once and that works. You can line them up in a queue. So while I am placing this November sticker, the December one is coming out. So you can go a little bit faster than what I've been doing. I didn't realize that you could choose more than one. You can probably just choose as many as you want to and line them up in the queue. And then they'll just print one at a time. is so great. So this is going to bring me up to date. I'm going to wait until the end of January to choose my January picture of him and I try to do it as close to the mark of where he will turn the next month old rather than just any time in the month. Try to get really close to the date where he's one month, two month, three month, four month, five months, six months, etc. So really, this brings me up to date. So is that one, two, three, that's half of the year. Look at that. And the size of this, which is two by three, is just perfect for this. It's not um, the exact same size as the boxes in the Erin Condren planner, but it's really, really close. 
really close. And I think the quality is really nice. Um, I would say it's just a little bit less um, than if I were to print these on nice photo paper with my printer, which does a really good job of printing photos. But those are not printed with zinc technology rather than ink. Um, so it is, um, it's a whole different thing. So I think for a zinc printer, this does a really good job. Now, should we do a side-by-side -side comparison and print one of these same photos with my HP Sprocket? Yes, I think we should. So here's my HP Sprocket Select. It prints a larger size print than this Lien photo printer does, but you can get HP Sprockets that print the same size. So this size photo is 2.3 by 3.4, so just a little bit larger. But let's check out the quality of the photo. FYI, I did notice that with Bluetooth, you can connect both printers at the same time. So these two are similar, although this one has a few streaks in the print. This was from the HP Sprocket, and this one does not have those same streaks, or if they're there, they are much less pronounced. So this one is a little bit brighter as well, and um, but you can see here the difference in size. Either size is available in HP Sprocket. I am not sure about Lian. We can conclude that it definitely prints as well as an HP Sprocket. And in the case of this one picture, I think it prints a little bit better than the HP Sprocket. So for the project that I use this photo printer on, I am extremely pleased, not only with the convenience of the size being exactly what I needed for my Erin Condren Life Planner, but just also with how easy it was to work the app as well as the printer itself. And I think the quality of the images is definitely good. So thank you guys so much for watching this review of the Lien photo printer. I hope it was helpful to you and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.